Well, I, I'm not sure what he had on that little plate before the game, but I think there was like a bunch of blueberries and turmeric and <laughs> garlic and all kinds of things on there, you know, pomegranates. I don't know whatever you get uh, to make you rejuvenate, but he was he was spectacular. It was a it was a great you know example of somebody however old he is i don't know what is he 39, 39. or 40 whatever he is to go out there and have that uh that will and that competitiveness and to summon it up like that uh, he's a remarkable human being uh, he's we, I, I, he's probably not going to play but i don't think it's serious he, he did an mri and we haven't gotten results yet but hopefully he just got like a bruise or something like that but it, you know, it stiffened up. On didn't really swell up. It just got stiff, and so he'll probably be out. Coach, how do you feel Kyle fit in with that starting move yesterday? He did fine. He did everything we asked him to do. In general, do you feel like those young guys are getting a pretty good trial by fire in this series? Well, I would say that's pretty obvious. <laughs> Why likely still get the out tomorrow? Likely. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, what's the thinking on, on whether you play him or not play him at this stage in the series? Uh, it wouldn't make much sense. Uh, if he's unable to play yesterday, I don't think there's going to be a miraculous healing by tomorrow. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a sense that like other organizations may have let him talk you into playing, right? But the Spurs have always sort of I don't know. prioritized. I don't know. I can't speak for other well, organizations. Okay. I just We did what we did. Right or wrong, we did what we did. Was it, was it obvious that he couldn't go, or was it a bit subjective? We answered all those questions yesterday. I'm not going to go back in time. What did David mean to the team this year? Well, he gave us great depth. Uh, he had a great season. What, what's just sort of the mentality after down 3-0 one, and one more game at home here? What, what do you tell the team, just how you approach it? Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's what we do. Uh, Everybody knows, they know that they're down 3-0. Uh, and I want them to play with the same uh, ferocity and the same aggressiveness they played with last night. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a tough challenge when you walk out there and you're looking at four all-stars most of the time. Uh, so you better be pretty perfect. And we have to be more perfect if we want to stay in games for the whole 48 minutes. So that's, that's the task at hand. And we went through the film as usual, what we did well, what we did poorly, what we expect. And uh, we go out to win a basketball game. It's got nothing to do with anything else. Uh, you know, it's just as simple as that, very honestly. Bob, in, a, in a way, is there less second guessing as a coach when you're in a series when so many things go against you and you kind of had, I mean, in this series, it seems like no matter what you could have done, things wouldn't be much different than they are now. Do, do you, you you're confused. You're getting way? a little too too heavy for me there. Do, do you second guess yourself less? No, no, no. <laughs> Coaches. Uh, I think any coach worth his or her salt second guesses themselves all the time. Uh, that's why you have a staff. You know, that's why you discuss things. That's why you agree and disagree. Uh, coulda, shoulda, woulda. You, 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 you always do that because you might come up with a better answer for the future. So uh, I just, I just think, you know, circumstances were such that we could be in a totally different position now. That didn't happen. It's called life. Slap yourself. Quit your crying and move on. Game four. He's exactly right. <laughs> He's exactly right. Those guys were out till four last night, <laughs> eating Sundays and eating burgers and all that. They probably get up today about two in the afternoon. They're going to play poker all afternoon, stay out again tonight, and we'll have our way with them. <laughs> Any special message for the fans for tomorrow's game? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, we love the fans, but uh, at the end of the game, we're going to have a certain number of turnovers, and they're going to have zero. So it's on us, not on them. Where do you get a Sunday at 4 a.m.? <laughs> That's a great question. That's a great question. Water Somebody burger. asked me about restaurants for tonight, and I said, they're all closed on Sunday. <laughs> so I didn't know what to do. All right, have a good day.